Hey guys, Drew Brashler. I am here today to answer a question that was asked to me last week, and that is, how do I record the post-fader sound of my console and my effects that I'm running live during my show into my computer through my card on the back of the console? So the way that the X32 works with the card on the back of the console, there's the XUF, which is the uh, USB and Firewire, and there's also the XUSB, which is the USB only version of that card. Now that card is 32 channels in and 32 channels out. Um, so if you connect the console to a uh, DAW on your computer, you can record and play back 32 channels at a time, which is pretty awesome. So the way that the X32 works with recording is if you take a microphone and plug it in to input one, it will record directly after the preamp. So that means that any of your low cut, your gate, your dynamics, EQ, any of that stuff is not going to be recorded default. Now there's a couple ways that we can do um, some creative routing inside the console to be able to record that in a post fader or even a pre fader configuration. Now we can also set this up to record our effects. So let's go ahead and hop in and I will show you how to actually do this. So what I have here is I have a standard scene. I have my drums, my guitars, my keys, bass, and vocals. Now what I wanted to do is I wanted to take all of the stuff that I've done to these channels, the EQ, the compression, the gate, I'm wanting to record that to track, um, and that track being the computer. So I want to record all of this stuff, including the channel strip, to the computer. So um, what we need to do is just do some creative routing inside of the X32. Now if you are not using the P16 monitoring system, this is going to be a perfect solution for you because we're actually going to route these channels post fader to the P16 and then the P16 is going to feed our card that's going to the computer. So what we do is we go to our routing and our P16 out is right over here. So we'll tab over to P16 out and then we have our P16 out right here. So um, what this normally has is just direct outs of a lot of the channels. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set our channel one P16 output to be a direct out of channel one. So we're going to rotate this knob until we get to channel one. We're going to assign that and then we are going to go down to post fader and we're going to set. And then we have number two. We are going to select direct out and post fader. Now you can do pre fader if you want to or you can do post fader. Um, in a lot of recording studios they will oftentimes record post fader um, if it's just going to be a recording console. If you are actually doing a live show and you don't want any of your fader movements to be recorded you'll want to use pre fader. So back to this. So we have three and we're going to select direct out post fader four. Okay, so now what we've done is on all of our P16 outputs, we've set them to be a source from a direct out of the channel as a post fader tap. So now that we have this set, what we want to do is we actually want to route the card to pull from this. And that's going to be on our card out page. So we're going to tab over to our card out and our outputs one through eight are going to come instead of from the local one through eight, they're going to come from our P16s one through eight. And then on our nine through 16, we're going to rotate this down to P16, nine through 16. So now what's going to happen is when we have our live show and we are doing our mix, when the band is playing, it's going to record the post fader levels from these faders and all of the effects that you've been adding into those channels from here. And it's going to record through our card outs one through 16 and send to our laptop and our DAW. So now that we have recorded our inputs one through 16 as a post fader, I want to go ahead and add in my effects. And that way, when I have my recording on my computer, I actually have all of the effects from the board recorded as well. So with this, I'm going to be doing a little bit of creative routing with outputs nine through 16. Now, this won't work if you are using all 16 outputs of your board. 
If you're able to use some of the aux outputs instead of the 9 through 16 XLR outputs, do that. That way you can free up your 9 through 16 slots. So when I'm doing show, maybe times I won't have as many monitors. Maybe I'll have four monitors and then four outputs for my mains. So this is going to be really useful for that time when I only have eight outputs from the XLRs and I have eight outputs available on 9 through 16. So let's go ahead and do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to outs 1 through 16, and then we're going to scroll down to output 9. And then we are going to go to direct out, and this we're going to pull from effects 1, and we're going to pull from post fader. And then 10, 15 is 4 left, 16 is for right. So now what I've done is I've assigned the outputs 9 through 16 to pull from my effects returns. Now, if you do mute effects a lot and kind of move the effects up and down, you'll want to end up recording these pre-fader. That way you can apply those effects in places that you may have not um, unmuted them in the original live recording. So if you wanted to do that, we want to go through and hit pre-fader on all of these. Okay, so now we can see that we have 9 through 16 as our direct outs of our effects. So let's actually go take the card out and pull from this output slot. So we're going to tab over to card out, and then our expansion card output 17 through 24, we're going to want to pull from outs 9 through 16. So once we have that selected, now our Inputs 1 through 16, post fader, is going to be recorded into the DAW. And then our effects returns um, 1 through 4, uh, both stereo, are going to be coming in on 17 through 24 into the DAW. So that is one creative way that we can use the output routing of the X32 to our advantage for being able to record channels 1 through 16 and the effects to our DAW. If you have any questions, feel free to post below. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel. That way you will be up to date with the most recent videos of the X32 that I'm producing. Thank you so much.